All right, today I'm gonna to go through fixing the screen flicker issue on the Asus uh, G71s and G72s. Um, if you'll notice, you can kind of see it going in and out. This is caused by a loose ribbon cable. You may also notice on the side of the screen right here, that line. So if you have something like that, it's probably caused by this uh, loose ribbon cable. This isn't a fix for artifacting, which is just like uh, little squares of different colors on the screen. That's probably a GPU issue. Uh, but the first thing you're going to want to do is remove these pieces. Now, I've already gone through and done a couple of these things to save time on the video. Um, but they're really easy to pull off. Just push up on the inside and then close the lid and push up on the other side and they'll come right out. Be kind of gentle because uh, if you're not gentle, you'll get... Uh, cracked peg. Uh, so once you've gone ahead and got these off, the next thing you're going to want to do is remove the little uh, screw covers. These go right here on the LCD. I use a pick to get them. There are six, two at the bottom and four along the top. Go ahead and pull those off. And then once you pull those off, there are going to be screws underneath. Pull those out and then go ahead and work around the edge of your uh, LCD bezel and you'll be able to pull it off. Okay, I'm going to note at this point, once you got the bezel off, uh, that there are two spots, well two areas, uh, that could cause those screen lines. The first one is the connections, are the connections right here. So you can go ahead and pull those off if you've got a pick. Um, they're just little white blocks. Um, pull them up, press them down, make sure they're firmly seated. I can give you a close-up view. Okay, we're looking at that piece right there. That whole white block just comes up, and then you can reseat it. And uh, unfortunately, that was not what was causing the issue on this laptop, or is not what is causing the issue. Um, the other side of that cable actually goes to the back of the LCD, so we're going to need to take off the LCD to get to it so we can reaffix that cable. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is remove the screws surrounding the LCD. You're going to note one there, one there, two on each hinge, and then one on each side. Okay, so go ahead and remove those screws. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is disconnect the LCD from all the auxiliary uh, connections. You've got three down here, and then you've got two up at the top. So go ahead and unscrew that and disconnect those One things. One quick note for those of you who have not seen this kind of ZIF connector before, uh, all you need to do to remove this is pop up the ends like that, and then it pulls right out. So that's how you do that connection. Okay, so now you've got everything disconnected. Uh, the way I do this is just kind of pull up on uh, both halves. These are disconnected now. So when you let this side free, you're gonna notice that there's still some tape holding, well, I've disconnected it, but there's some tape holding this ribbon onto this piece here. So you're gonna need to disconnect that and be careful, okay, let me see if Got a good view of it here. Be careful because as you see, the wireless antenna are still connected. So you'll want to be able to prop this up on something um, and then you'll have access to this back panel here. All right, so once you've got it situated, I'm gonna zoom in on the problem area here. This is the problem area. What's happening is this cable is not quite long enough. So every time you open and close this, it pulls out a little bit from the back of the screen. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and take the tape off and we're going to uh, unplug it and then reseat the cable. All right, so once you've got it. the tape off, to unplug this, just uh, get a firm grasp of it and pull it straight that way and it'll come right out, okay? And then you can uh, just kinda of put it right back in there. Just make sure that you can get it firmly seated uh, and then uh, then we'll tape it back down and hopefully that'll resolve. Okay, I've gone ahead and retaped it down. Um, I would just make sure that you tape the whole thing from the back here 
because a lot of times what people will do is they'll just put a line of tape right here and that won't fully fix the issue. What you want to make sure is that the sides are down and it's all the way in there. And uh, we'll put it back together. And okay, we'll so if all went well, now you're seeing a nice crystal clear image on your G72 or G71. Uh, if you'll notice, actually on mine, there is still a deadline of pixels. Uh, however, that's not caused by the loose cable. If you're having that problem, um, unfortunately, uh, cable receipt will not fix the issue. All right.